Hello, and we're back with Casper. And uh, what we're gonna do? Was there anything down here? Yes, there was. There was a wee room that we couldn't get into. So let's go into this room. Yeah, if you're like, if you're uh, one of the morph icon things, and you want to turn back, you can't be like next to something, otherwise it just won't work. It's really annoying. So you've already you've got 138 gold coins. And I don't remember how the fuck you open that, but... We'll find a way. It's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there in the end. Let's go through here. Anything else we can do here? No. Okay. I've got a jigsaw puzzle. I don't, I don't think there's other PCs to this puzzle. No. An iron weight, lovely. Before we go in that red door, we're just gonna go over this wee alcove here. <laughs> What's in here? A red key. Oh, that's lucky. We've opened the room somewhere, but I don't know where. And we have a puzzle piece for the jigsaw that's in this wee room here. Christ, we got a lot of weights there. Okay, time to go through the red door. And what's through the red door? Another red door. So great. How many rust keys have we got? None. Oh, that's amazing. So we can't do any of that yet. Okay, one, but we can't really get through this without having them all. And we could use, we, I don't know if we could use weights for this puzzle, but we're probably better off um, using chairs. Okay, and we've got two glass keys, we just need another one, because the, those chests are weird up there. You open all three of them when you get the item. Um, Chris, there's a lot of these fucking chairs. This is a lot of moving around in this level. Level? Room? Not so, not really any levels in this, unless you count the axes levels, in which case level 2 is a massive fucking level. Yeah. Tell me I can get that chair through that door. Fuck. Fuck are you, game? Right, okay. Alright, was there another chair up there? Let's have a wee, uh, wee check. We'll see. No, it was a rocking chair though. Well, we're here. And once we open that last one, we'll get the item that's in the chest. It's a bit dickish, that puzzle. I say puzzle, it's not fucking difficult. Oh my god, but that is. Right, we'll get to that later. Oh no, I hate that puzzle. With a, a fiery vengeance. If you've seen the movie, you remember that staircase. It's supposed to lead down to the Lazarus. Because it's the part where uh, their cat gets on the chair thing and it takes them all the way down. That's that place, but you know, it actually has nothing to do with that in the game. There we go. Puzzle solved. I don't remember what it really opened, but whatever. It's a winding key. It must be for one of those mechanical devices. So, do you remember that boss uh, with, it's in the attic and it's, um, it's fat, so with those tanks, well, that was the item, we ha we need to kill him. And, oh god, okay, we'll check this room out, right? But, we're not getting past it just now. We'll come back later to do this. Right. I like the music in this room, by the way. But, the puzzle is, you have to figure out how to like put these out, like like what way they're supposed to go. It's a bit of a pain, but to be honest, it's a, it's a lot different from what I remember being. So I don't know, it'd be easier. I don't know. Although I really do like the music in this level. 
I don't know how to do this. So we'll come back to this later. Because it's, I don't think there's anything we need in there anyway. Like, I mean, I could just look it up in the noun. No, we could do it, but whatever. We have, we have shit to do. Because we have a boss to fight. Not yet. Damn it. I always think it's that room, but it's not. We can't open that, we don't have any brass keys. Why are there so many chairs kicking about here? Oh Christ, okay, so there's two of them. We'll go through the left one first, because that's just how I am. Oh, I can't open that chest. Okay, we need to remember that's there. So I can get it later. Oh, shit. I can get it now. There's a blue key in that other room there. But how do we get to that room? I don't know. Okay, let's try with this big wall because this is a pain in the arse. Hey, that's how we get in. Okay. And we still can't open that chest. So we'll just have to keep looking around. There's another chest that we can't open. Great. There's a switch. Bastard. That one got me. I fucking hate the jump scares. Right. Now it's time. Why don't you stick around, Casper, and I'll show you what happens to friendly ghosts. <laughs> So that's a good clue of what you're supposed to do in this boss. That's why I've got the glue out. For, for some reason, in this game, glue can stick ghosts down. But this boss is incredibly difficult to do because you have to get it perfect. And if you miss, you have to wait for that bit of glue to go away before you can, like, use it again. So you have to wait for so long. Please go away. There we go, right, okay. God damn it. I mean, we can't get stuck in it, but he can somehow. He likes to avoid it because, you know, you're gonna avoid it. Do you have to try and get it so that he's so close that you have no choice but to be stuck in it? But that's difficult to do. Fucking cruel as fuck, he's just punching this Wayne. I say punches like this, slapping them. Oh, come on. This would be like the most of this music you'll ever hear, because this is the most difficult boss in the game. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now we are stuck at a sort of loose end here. We don't have any brass keys, so we have t a couple of chests in here that we can open. So we're gonna have to come back. I'm gonna have to remember. I'm going to have to remember to come back here. Unless I look up how to do the the switch puzzle in the other room, which I'm probably gonna do because there's plenty of brass keys in here. So, uh, I'm going to go look this shit out, and I bet it's easy. Okay, so, the puzzle is supposed to be this. It's supposed to go right, right, left, right, left, left, right. 
Never in this view room. So much useful shit. Apart for the those gold we just wasted a fucking tw a key on, but whatever. Looks as like if a chair's floating alongside Casper, it's really weird. And also oh, Because you have to you know, use this you have to use the chairs before you do that. See? And we just got a secret. <laughs> now we got a gold key. But again, now we only have one brass key, so now we can only open one fucking chest in the next room. And uh, it's probably going to be the first chest I see. So let's hope we get lucky. Um, it's up here. Otherwise, we're gonna have to come back here to get these chests open. I'm trying to think of what we have to do next. Oh my god, it had to be the one with nothing in it, right? Well, awesome. Well, okay, it looks like we're coming back at some point then. Uh, what have we got? We've got a blue, is it? Yeah. And a gold key. I think what we will be best doing just now is going back to the attic area and defeating the boss, as well as going through up there because there's a place we need to go with the saw. I think so. We could do that too. Mm, lagged a bit there. That was a bit weird. I haven't seen that room. That room, I actually think, is like near the end of the game. Actually, despite being in like the middle of the fucking start. Um, what is up here? Have we really been up here? I don't think we have. Hold on, what if we check up here? I'm pretty sure there's blue doors up here too. Unless it's purple, it's blue. There's two blue doors, and if I remember rightly, the one on the right is a bit of a dud. I'm going this one. What's down here? Well, remember that room that I mentioned earlier is like the last room. Well, yeah, this door leads to the basement, but you need a black key to open it. So. A bit of a dick, but yeah. So let's go up here and we'll see what's around. I found a hidden body. Well, would you look at that? A brass key. Which we're gonna use to open this chest up here because really I'm gonna use that other one as like a final. Like if I need to, if I'm, if I'm completely lost on needs of what to do, I'll go to it. But I don't think it's gonna be that important anyway. I remember right, there was a way up to the attic if we were in here. Fuck! Oh, you pain in the arse. Why even make that? Why would that even make sense in any kind of building context? Um. Completely forgotten what the order for this one is. There we go. We'll just climb over. Okay. What's over here? Switches. More switches. No, I can't open that because I need a, chip, a key for it. Which, again, actually, we need more keys. We definitely need more keys because there's a chest up here we need to open. And of course, I can't open it because, you know, I don't have a key. Uh, 
Um, now, now that I think about it, the other blue door uh, is, might be the better one to open. I'm, I'm not sure if there's a blue key in that room, but it's, it has the puzzle for this piece, this piece, and the piece I just picked up. No, actually, no it doesn't. That's a total fucking lie. Don't even listen to me. <laughs> okay, either way. Either way. We've got shit to do. We've got shit to be getting on with now. So let's get back out of here. I'm trying to think of where we could get more keys. But I can't at all. Maybe there's keys in the... the room in the thing. That still hasn't been done with. Okay. Well... We'll get to a sink at some point soon. And then we can go thing with that. I don't think that'll give us much, but, but it could give us keys. So it's worth keeping that in mind. Um. Yeah, up to the attic we go. There is a room here that sort of, like, because of the way um, the emulator emulates the game, it doesn't show a screen that it's supposed to show, like, if you go uh, into this room, I think it's, it might be that room actually. No it's not. But there's a room that's uh, completely dark, because you need to have a power up to go through it. Uh, and it doesn't tell you this if you're playing on the emulator because it doesn't work right, so... I thought the game totally died when that happened. Right, so... Oh, we need another one. We can't even kill this boss yet. Because we have to have a hammer to destroy that tank, which is what I completely forgot about. So we can't even do that. So let's just get out of here. Huh. Right, well, I think top priority right now is find a, uh, a sink to put water in the bucket so that we can open the fireplace at the beginning of the game because it may or may not be helpful. I never thought I'd actually run out of keys that quickly. I don't really remember running out of keys. Um, yeah, this way. There's plenty of fucking sinks this way. And we should also go back into the garden soon, because uh, there's the secret place that may have some keys. There's a puzzle at the end of the game, it's the secret thing, it's actually pretty fucking difficult to find. Like, it's, you have to actually kind of know it's there to get it. Um, I'll show it later, much later, but, um, yeah, like, oh, I'll not talk about it this night, I'll explain it when it comes up because I've got a kind of story behind it. Right, okay, let's go back then. Hopefully it gives us three brass keys in which we go back and... F actually, I've completely forgotten what the fuck we were even trying to do. Oh, no, I remember. It's fine. Memory's a bit shit. If you've got a shit memory playing this game, then you're fucked. You know, you're probably better off writing down everything you do. So, that how do we get in there? That's not your red room thing. I want to get in there. Here we go. <sighs> okay. Ow. How is there not? There's a fucking fire there. There you go. Yes. That's how shit goes. Okay. Um. <clears throat> 
So let's go back up these stairs and check what I've missed. Oh yeah, because there's an item up here needed.